Good morning, guys. It's Laurie from Passionate Penny Pincher, and I'm crazy excited because I have the coolest, coolest ever gift wrapping hack to show you guys today. I'm super excited about that. I'm also excited because right now I'm going to show you some easy, easy way to do teacher gifts. Um, they are super, these blanket scarves right now are two for 20 bucks, like two for $20. When you use the code, I wrote it out on a piece of paper, but I lost it. When you use the code Passion Scarf, so I'm gonna um, show you how to wear them. I'm also gonna show you this genius idea, and it's gonna be super fun. As you're hopping on, guys, if you can hit the share this button, we will give away a $25 Amazon gift card to up to three people for every 100 shares we have. So hit that share this button. Also, guys, I am so excited. I would love to hear from you. What is the one gift that you've gotten that for you was like? the best gift ever. I want to hear in the comments your favorite gifts and then I'll show you the scarf and while I'm trying on the scarves um, to show you how to make these as a gift, I will tell you about them. You click the link above to get the scarves for two for 20 bucks when you use the code PASSIONSCARF at checkout. The code is PASSIONSCARF. Good morning, Paula. Hi, thank you for sharing. Hi, Demary. Damaris. Good morning. Hi, Susan. Okay, guys, so let me tell you my favorite gift ever. Well, I actually gave these, I gave these exact ones away last year to all of my nieces, and I'm going to show you how to gift them super easily. Um, and this was a great gift because we ended up at a wedding in February, and the color was the color of my dress, my top right now for the wedding, and all the girls needed them, so they wore them. So a couple quick ways to wear these if you're not sure of how to wear them. You can wear them like this which is just super simple, and I actually wear one at my desk every day like this. You can pull it over to the side like this. Super easy. Use the code PASSIONSCARF at checkout to snag these for two for 20 bucks today only. And then the other way that I wear it probably most often is like this. So super simple, great gift. Let me show you how to make this into a gift. Y'all are gonna love this. I'm gonna tell you guys my favorite gift ever. I'm waiting to see your gift ideas. What was the favorite gift you got? Look at what we're gonna do today. This is so fun. I'm so excited. We're gonna wrap these scarves. I don't know why that light is acting so funky. Sorry guys. Oh, that's worse. Okay. Um, we're gonna wrap these scarves up, but I want to show you my super amazing trick. Are y'all ready? Give me some likes and hearts. Tell me what y'all um, is your favorite gift. So my favorite gift was several years ago. I play the violin. And my um, sister and brother-in-law gave me a new violin, and that was like the best gift ever because I would never have bought that for myself, so that was fun. Okay, so look at these. This is what we're gonna do with our bucket. This is a bucket, this is a regular bucket that I grabbed at Home Depot. I've had this for years. This is then just a bucket thing that you buy also at Home Depot. You can get them on Amazon. We may be able to pop a link in for that. Literally, I'm just taking this bucket. Then I have a tension rod. Y'all, I'm feeling so smart. Seriously, this is awesome. I'm hoping the light is so weird. There, is that light better a little bit? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the tension rod and I've got some twine. I love twine for gifts. Then we're gonna put the tension rod through there. Are y'all seeing how smart I am right here? Are you seeing this geniusness right here? I'm telling you, guys, hit the share this button. I'm still waiting to see some of your comments on your favorite gift ideas. I would love to hear what gifts you've gotten that you love the most. Then you can put in all of your wrapping paper and you can just stick it right in there but here's what gets even better guys so last year at target thank you so much guys terry thank you for sharing hit that share this button and you'll be entered to win a 25 dollars amazon gift card so what you can do then so we've got the those what i do every year after the season i get all these gift tags for like a dime so then you can put all of your tags i put the bigger boxes of tags down in the bottom i put some bags in there as well um then you can take the smaller tags and set these out here. Look at this, all of your supplies, all in one place. These are my favorites, y'all. I got these for 90% off last year. Look at those. So we're gonna actually use them today to wrap things with. So I'll show you how to wrap with them. But look how cute this is, and it makes life so much easier. Thank you for sharing, Megan and Tracy. Guys, tell me what is the one gift you got as a kid, as an adult, that was your favorite gift all year long? And we're gonna put our scissors in here, and then you don't have to go hunting because everything's together. Always put a Sharpie marker in because um, that just makes your life a little bit better. Um, I put some little boxes. I put these down in the bottom. And do y'all see how easy this is to use? Then I can just pull off my twine, and this is just a simple tension rod. So easy. This is the way I've organized my um, supplies forever. I definitely, at the end of the season, y'all, look at these cute tags. Do you see those? 
These were all like pennies last year at Target. So at the end of the season, go to Target and Walmart, pick up all the cutesy little, I love cute wrapping and I love the way it looks, but I'm super frugal. And so I hate to pay full price for it. So I just grab it all when it's uber cheap. Oh, I shouldn't put those down there. We'll see. Okay. And you can see how this is just a bucket container. Isn't that simple? So simple. Oh, scene, you got a cabbage patch kid. Scene, I got the same one when I was in the fourth grade, I bet. She was blonde and her name was Laura Lai, and I thought that was perfect. And my mom said she was the last one they had at the store. The cabbage patch dolls, remember those were like the those were like the I don't know. They were like the Hatchimals, I guess, of 1980-ish, right? 1985, I suppose. Anyways, that is so fun. You just made me remember that. I love that. Somebody got, you got a ventriloquist put, puppet. I love that. Okay, so this is how I'm going to organize all my supplies. So super simple. Now what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up some of these scarves. Remember, you can use the code, um, and I'm going to show you some more ideas here. I have a lot going on here today. You can actually... I'm gonna be super organized. This is some more ribbon. So let's see if this ribbon will fit. I believe it will. Nope, it's not gonna fit. If your hole is too small, you can actually cut that and make it a little bit bigger. I'm just gonna leave it for the sake of the time being. Um, okay, so here we've got our stuff. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap some gifts. Now I have an obsession with ribbon. I pulled out all of my ribbon supplies, y'all. I keep this ribbon around upstairs year round. But we're going to wrap some of these scarves, which would make such a great gift for a teacher. So simple. I'm pulling all my stuff out here and organize myself so that you guys can see. So what we're going to do with the scarves. Okay, so teacher gifts, I know, are always hard to come up with something. These scarves are two for 20. There you go. Um, when you use the code passion scarf at checkout, and what we're going to do... So I'm going to take, I always hang on to old ribbon. Like I am obsessive about holding on to old ribbon. So when somebody gives me a nice gift and they have pretty ribbon, I always keep it um, because you never know when you can reuse it. So I have lots of little pieces of ribbon around my house. So we're just going to wrap this here. So simple. And I'm totally winging this, y'all. I did not plan this a ton. So we'll see how we can make it turn pretty. Now you can see that's not especially big enough. So I'm going to use my scissors and trim off my pretty little edges. How many of y'all always trim your edges like this? I have to rethink it every single time I do it. Okay. And I highly recommend getting a good pair of scissors. My scissors are pretty pitiful, as you can tell. So we're just going to add this here. Like I said, I always have to think about which way to go every time. Then we're going to use, I'm going to use this. Okay, remember I got these from Target last year. They were 90% um, off, so they had been $5 for two. I paid 50 cents for two, so we're gonna use those. This would be such a great teacher gift. And like I said, the scarves are two for 20. I gave these to all of my nieces last Christmas, um, and they were perfect. And we actually all got the same exact color. I didn't even order pick different colors. I picked the one I liked the most. Y'all, I don't wanna break this ornament in here, so be patient with me. Okay, so here those are. So now what we can do, do y'all see that? Can you see it? Thank y'all so much for hitting that share this button. If you hit the share this button, you will be entered to win a $25 Amazon gift card. Now, I got these cute things. Y'all, I love these. I found these at jane.com. They're pre-printed with our stuff on them. So I'm actually going to put them... Um, and again, these I got from Michaels and the dollar bins, y'all. I just always buy stuff when I see a deal on it. So this is a tag that I'm sure I spent like 10 cents on. I think the stickers were from Jane. So I'm going to put this right on there, right? And then I'm going to just go ahead and add a pretty extra ribbon. Let's see. I'm actually going to use, I can't decide what to use. Oh, and I meant to add some a twig, but I forgot. You can also add berries, so if you have fresh greenery. Um, I have a whole bunch over on my mantle, and I meant to bring some over to show you guys. I may have to do that. Okay, let me read through your comments. Thank you for sharing. Y'all are so sweet. Hi, Martha. Thank you for sharing. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed the tips, Diane. That makes me so happy. That makes my day. So now we're just going to tag these all on here. If you were wanting to do a gift card as well, if, you, if this was a teacher gift, you could possibly stick on 
Let's just pretend this is a teacher gift you could stick on an Amazon gift card um, if you wanted to do that also. But then we're just gonna wrap all this in here. I am not the queen of gift wrapping, but I'm good at buying stuff cheaply so that it makes my life super easy to make things look prettier. Because I love things to look pretty, but I don't like to spend a lot of money. But I don't want to lose the value of something pretty. So there are lots of ways. I definitely recommend after the end of the season that you go to Target or Walmart and, get, and just buy out all of their stuff like this because you will spend so much less money and give a great gift. And, you know, part of it is just in the being beautiful part. Um, so this was some twine that I also found at Target. So there's one wrapped up. What do y'all think? How fun is that? Isn't that a nice little teacher gift? You could tack on something else. So let's go ahead and do one more. I'm going to do the, um, here's a red one. I love this color scarf. Isn't that fun? I love it. I'm going to show you another way to do it. I'm actually going to use my daughter made some of these. These are cinnamon ornaments. How many of you guys have ever made cinnamon ornaments? Um, she made these this Christmas just a few weeks ago. We, well, just a few days ago we made those. So again, this is another ribbon that I received on a package. I just hung on to it because I'm all about hanging on to a pretty ribbon. Hang on, I'm going to have to go let my dog out. greenery y'all look at this this is so easy and this is just fresh greenery from our yard so we can put this in here like this then we're gonna go ahead and make the ends look pretty because I'm weird like that okay so the scarves are two for 20 with the code passion scarf at checkout the greenery is free the ribbon was free the twine. I, like I said, I got it Target after this season. Um, actually on this one, let's do, I have so many good ribbon choices. How about this one? Let's use that instead. Okay. And I have, oh, I have way more than I thought I had. I thought I had just a little bit. So what I'm going to do now with this is I use, made the cinnamon ornaments. Y'all see the cinnamon ornaments and I'm just going to tack her. Oh y'all, this turned out so cute. Wait, do I want the snowflake? What do y'all think guys? Hearts, if you think I should do the snowflake, Likes if you think I should do the angel food person. Tell me which one y'all recommend using. I kind of like the snowflake, honestly. So I'm going to use the snowflake, I think. Tell me what you guys think and which ones to use. Yeah, the green, the greenery is so simple. And all you got to do, this is some Arborvita. Arborvita works really, really well. Um, and then, like I said, these are just cinnamon ornaments that we made with extra cinnamon. Um, to make cinnamon ornaments, you just, um, oh, y'all, look how cute this is. Okay. I outdid myself here, y'all. I'm hoping you guys like this one. I think you like this option. So, okay, what we're going to do is we're just going to tie this on. And literally, y'all, what a sweet gift is that for a teacher? In fact, I may actually gift this to my daughter's teacher this year. The greenery is Arborvita. Some things that I would recommend for greenery, I would try... Um, I would try, I love Arborvita, I love, um, I love Nandina, if you have Nandina. Tell me what other things you guys use for greenery. Now, we also have this cute little tag. Remember, I got this from Target last year, so I probably paid next to nothing. So I'm going to pop this in behind it. And look at that. What a cute, easy gift, y'all. How fun is that? Isn't that so fun? Oh, I'm so glad, Jerry, that you caught me live. That makes my day. So we have this one. And we have this one. These are such nice little gifts, and I actually do love the greenery more than I expected to. I knew I would love it. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more, um, and then I'll answer any questions. Definitely try out the bucket idea because that will make your life so much easier. Let's do, I'm gonna do this one to wrap because it's, I would definitely get colors that um, work with your wrapping, unless you have somebody who has a certain color that they love. All I did to roll this up is I'm just rolling it into a ball. Let me show you guys the size of these scarves real quickly. So here's the size of the scarf so you know what kind of gift you'd be giving. Literally, all I'm doing, this scarf is, I'm 5'7". Okay, so you see how big this is? It's about, I'm guessing it's 
five and a half feet. So they can use it. I actually use mine as a blanket. I use mine as a um, table runner. So this is what it is. Then to gift it, I'm just going to half it once, half it again, roll it up straight, which is my biggest struggle. Okay. So we're just rolling this together. Y'all hit the share this button if you know someone who's looking for inexpensive gifts. This is a great way to make inexpensive gifts, but they're also really sweet gifts. And I love that you're not spending a bundle, but you're letting someone know they love it. And I was surprised last year. I wasn't sure. My niece, we have a lot of nieces and they're all kind of in that college age where we're starting to not give them gifts. But um, this way, I felt like they still got something and it was just something a little bit smaller, but they actually all wore them and seemed to really enjoy them, which I wasn't, I was a little unsure, but they used them all year long. Okay, so someone asked um, about the cinnamon ornaments. Let me tell you about how to do the cinnamon ornaments. Let's use, I have to decide what ribbon. Y'all look at my ribbon choices here. I got lots to work with. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna use this over here. Can y'all still see my little bucket here? Got a lot going on right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do on this one, and y'all, I am totally winging it. The nice thing is I don't buy tons of anything, so I just have little pieces, so everyone's gonna look totally different because, oh, this is gonna be cute, because I don't buy a ton of stuff. So here we go. So we're gonna take that, okay? Now I'm gonna take some of this twine that remember I keep on my little, um, in my wrapping supplies. So I'm gonna take a nice chunk of the twine and the nice thing about this twine is it's super inexpensive and you'll get a ton for it. I actually probably should have even gone a little bit. I'm going to go longer with that. Save that. It rolls off and then you don't have it getting all messy. You know how twine tends to become a disaster. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this like this. I'm not even tying off the big piece of burlap because um, you won't need to. It's not going to go anywhere. And then we're going to add some more of this arborvita. I really, I love arborvita this time of year. Arborvita grows so quickly that I don't feel guilty using it. Like I feel guilty using my other evergreen stuff, but I don't feel bad using the arborvita because it's super, um, it grows abundantly and we have lots of it. Um, then what you can do is add, we're going to go ahead. Let's just say we're going to give them this with a gift card. So let's, let's do, let me find some other ribbon here, y'all. Um, I need some better, lighter colored ribbon. I don't want to use the, I would, well, I may have to just use twine because I don't have any kind of ribbon that's like that. So what I'm going to do, I guess, is let's just do this. Let's go ahead and pop this right in here. Because I don't have any burgundy ribbon, so I'm kind of limited on this one as to how to do it. So we're gonna pop that in. This would be a great way to give a little gift card. If you wanted to give them a Starbucks card to me, this is such a better idea than doing a um, coffee mug because it's something they can use. And I know coffee mugs are everywhere. And then we're gonna use one of the cinnamon ornaments. If somebody asked how to make the cinnamon ornaments, all they are is a cup of cinnamon, a um, two tablespoons of glue, and I believe they call for something else. I'm gonna have to remember what it is. A cup of cinnamon, two tablespoons of glue. I can't remember the third ingredient. Who remembers the third ingredient for me? It's been so long since I've made them. Um, and then you just make them like you normally would, make any um, cookie, and then you bake them at 200 for a couple hours, and that's it, so they're super easy. So there you go. Those are just some super simple ways to do gifts. Um, let me show you these other two for anybody who hopped on late. Super, super, super fun gift ideas for teachers. Um, what do y'all think? Hearts or likes, y'all love these. How, thank you, it's applesauce. Julia, it's two cups, so what is it? Two cu A cup of cinnamon, two tablespoons glue, and I think like two tablespoons applesauce. And you just make it to a consistency that you can bake them, mix it up. Thank you guys for the applesauce. I can't believe I didn't remember those. So what do y'all think, guys? Aren't those fun little gifts? And the scarves right now are two for 20. They're so crazy, so cozy, soft. I really, really love them, and I think that's just a great way to make a fun gift. You could also definitely though, make sure, oh look y'all, we could add that there. What else could we add? Oh, and here's another one of the tags. Cause that one's gonna need a tag. Um, make sure at the end of the season that you order, that you buy everything um, when it's 90% off at Target. If you love pretty gifts, but don't love to spend a lot. I really am so frugal that for years, I always was sad because I didn't have fancy gifts. Um, but then I realized that I could go and get stuff 90% off, and so this is when I grab everything. Oh, this is a cute, 
Oh, y'all, this would be cute. Hang on. These were another. Okay, so look, these gift tags are normally $4. Y'all, I'm never going to spend 4 bucks on those. So I spent $0.40 cents because I wait till it's 90%. Oh, look how cute this is going to look. Y'all, my teacher gifts are done while we're standing here today. I'm excited. I'm going to go get a couple Starbucks gift cards. And we... Y'all, look at that. I... I kind of love that. I love it. I love it. These were on Jane um, the other day, I think. Um, and you could probably print them out even cheaper, but I just thought they were really fun. So super easy gift ideas, super cute little way to hang out with your, um, to put, organize your gift supplies. If you have didn't, if you copped on later, all this is is a bucket that I found at Home Depot. You can also order them on Amazon. We'll see if we can get you a link for that. Then you're going to take um, a tension rod, and that's going to hang your ribbon. And then you're going to put in your wrapping supplies. Also, I was going to show you one of my favorite gifts this year that we actually gave. I keep extra gifts in the bucket. So, like, this is an extra gift in case somebody at the last minute needs something. This is called a Write the Word Journal. It is by Cultivate What Matters. Um, and I love these journals. So that's one thing that I'll put in there as an extra little gift. Then I pop in all my extra supplies. I make sure to put a Sharpie. Yeah, super simple. So tell me what questions you guys have. Thank you so much, Mom to Seven, for sharing. Um, you could get a blanket for a male teacher. That's a great idea. At um, Kohl's, they have great deals on those. So I'll hang, hold these up for anybody who hops on late so you can kind of see. Y'all, look how pretty that is. Like, I impressed myself with that one. That one's pretty awesome. I mean, really. I'm totally giving that as a teacher gift. My daughter's going to be so impressed. It's, it's November 30th, and I have a gift done. That is awesome. These are so cute. These are cuter than I expected them to be. I love when I get surprised with stuff. Bonnie, you love them. So let me answer any other questions y'all have and then I'll hop off. There have been a ton of deals already this morning. So be sure to visit passionatepennypincher.com if you haven't already to see all the deals. Um, here, I'll show you this one. Look at y'all. Do the greenery. Totally do the greenery. I am loving these too. What is that that's around the bucket? So the thing that's around the bucket, this is a... Um, it's a tool organizer, so this is just a regular plastic bucket, and I actually tried to take it off. I ordered this one on Amazon, so we will find you a link to tell you how to order it on Amazon. It seriously is one of my favorite things that I've ever bought because it keeps everything in order. So yeah, we'll, um, the skirt for the bucket was at Amazon. I believe you might be able to find them at Home Depot or, Hob or Lowe's as well. Oh, Damaris, thank you so much. Thank Damaris, I had a crummy email this morning from somebody who did not like me at all, so I needed to hear some encouragement from you guys today because I was feeling pretty crummy about myself today. Will the greens last till Christmas? Julia, they probably won't. I will probably change them out um, so that they can... I'll probably change the greenery out. I'll probably put this back on my mantle, and then I'll put fresher ones there. I mean, really, y'all. I'm just going to set these here so you can see them and just be impressed. Like, really, how fun is that? I love them. I'm so excited. And I love that they're super cheap. I love that. But they don't look cheap, you know? Like, I want to give people good things, but I also have a budget, and so I can't spend forever. Um, so, what was I going to tell you? Oh, so the scarves, if you're interested in the scarves, they are two for 20 bucks. Use the code PASSION. No, Penny, I gotta, I've got. lost the code. I can't remember what the code is. That's horrible. This is why I shouldn't get sidetracked. I don't remember what the code is. It's in the comments. Hopefully it'll help. <laughs> Anyways, use the code, um, I think it's Passion Scarf. Passion Scarf. Use the code Passion Scarf, two for 20 bucks. Um, awesome little deal on the scarves if you like them. I think they're so fun and such an inexpensive gift. I know. Karen, I don't know why this person decided to write me a nasty email, but it's okay. I'm going to get over it. I'm trying to get over that one. Um, if y'all have any other questions, oh, let me tell you about the, the cinnamon ornaments and we will I'll try to remember to make these one day um, my daughter made them Reagan made them a couple days ago for me um, all you do and they're so super simple and they smell amazing and they last forever um, you're just gonna mix together a cup of cinnamon two tablespoons of glue about two tablespoons of applesauce just until it, you want it to be real thick and crusty so you don't want it to be like a it's not like a cookie dough um, but you want it to be pretty hard um, and then you just totally thank you the code is passion scarf and then um, you just cut them out with a cut cookie cutter 
bake them in the oven at 200 for a couple of hours. Your house will smell divine and you won't have anything to eat at the end, which is kind of nice because it's bad when you start eating in November and don't start eating till January. So these are fun to make because they make your house smell yummy, but you aren't tempted to eat them. So anyways, um, I love that. Someone says, how do I wear a scarf like that? Let me show you how to wear a scarf like that. Aren't those cute? Yeah, super easy. Um, if somebody has, okay, so how do you wear a scarf like that? I, first of all, wear it, I use it as a blanket. I use it as a throw in my decorating. I use it on the table as a table runner. Um, so this is how the scarf comes, right? It's big and huge. Let's see, I want y'all to be able to see these because they're really cute and I'm really impressed with those. So what I do typically is I make it into it. So I wear it just, I mean, like I literally have these sitting all around my house because I love them. I love them. So I'll put it on, so if you know what someone's decor is, I definitely recommend getting one in the colors that they have in their home already. Like this one isn't a great match with this scarf, but any, with this blouse, but anyways. Okay, so when I'm sitting at my desk all day long, you'll see me wearing one of these because I'm cold most of the day. Then if I'm going out, especially if it's like, um, if I'm gonna be wearing a coat, right? So if I'm wearing a coat, I will do this. Um, there you go. See how that totally changes the outfit? It's crazy. So there's that way. And then the other way to wear them is to take it into a big X, right? Now you're going to grab the ends. And this is probably the way I wear them most. And then you're going to basically just wrap them around, pull them back behind, and you're basically making it into a giant infinity scarf. This is also great to wear underneath coats like this. I really like that one. Um, what do you think? Yeah, I think they're super fun. And they're on sale two for 20 bucks today. Um, use the code passion scarf, passion scarf at checkout. Um, but that's a super fun way to wear them. And like I said, they're just warm and soft. And the colors that I love, I did not think I would love this blue and red one, but I actually think that's going to be my favorite gift to give this year is the blue and red one. Um, I love that this black one is perfect. This is a great one to give, especially it's upside down. Hang on. Let's do it this way. This one is a great one to give. Can you see the colors still on it? Um, let me see so you can see the colors. Especially if they're gonna wear them into January. So I like to do ones that are not Christmas colors um, because as much as I love Christmas colors, nobody wants to be wearing red and green in Christmas. I saw this morning, guys, there is a buffalo check one that is so stinking cute. So um, definitely look for the, it's a black and white buffalo check. I think it'll sell out today because it's darling. It's my favorite. Um, in fact, I'm going to probably go order one myself. So um, yeah, check that out. Somebody said that they love the Somebody said that they love the um, scarves but don't know where they're from. They are from Sense of Style. And somebody else said, oh, they love scarves for movies. Yes, these are great to take to a movie because basically it's like a blanket. So you can just take it. You've got a blanket. It's cozy. Um, wrap it up. Like you can you literally look how big that is. So I, like I said, I love these and I think they're so fun. You could add a movie or gift card for an outdoor event. I think you could add a Starbucks gift card too. You could add... If you wanted to do a mug, I'm not super into mugs for teachers because I feel like they do end up with a lot of mugs. Um, but I also think teachers are so appreciative for what we give them. But I definitely want to give them some good stuff because if I was a teacher, I'm sure they end up with a lot of things they don't need. So there's another one. Um, someone said, Roxanne, if you click the link right there, it's going to take you to, if you click the link in the video or the pinned comment, it will take you to the, um, the, the site that has them. And the code that you're going to use is passion. Scarf. Someone said my shirt is cute. I got it from TJ Maxx. I love me a TJ Maxx deal. This was one of my birthday gifts, so I think it's pretty cute too. Um, someone said, someone says they wear their church, their scarf to church. I wore mine to church this past Sunday. I did the exact same thing because I'm always cold. I'm always cold. Like they, I grew up in Clearwater, Florida. I live now, now live in Ohio. I am cold all the stinking time, and so I always have that. Um, Amanda, if the link isn't working. Uh, try the pinned comment link. I'm trying to think because it's on a specific, you've got to push the right button to get to it. So um, I'm hoping the link will be working. If not, we'll get it set up here in just a second. So hang on. As soon as the video is over, we'll get it working. Um, what is the, ja oh, Janet, what is the Jane's website? It's um, jane.com and they did have these. Look how cute those are. Um, I think they're super fun. And it came with, I think I spent like $5 maybe, $6 and I got... 24. I don't think they're the cheapest ones ever, but I think they're really cute, especially for teachers. Um, super easy. Okay, so the recipe for the cinnamon things. Guys, I promise I will make these on live 
sometime soon. Um, here's what you're gonna do. Here they are. So you're just gonna take your regular Christmas cookie cutters just like you would normally do. I actually like these better than Christmas cookies because um, they're easier, they work really well, and they stay stiff. Um, what you're gonna use is, oh my gosh, they smell so good because they were just made. I don't know how long, they, I've got some older ones, and they smell for several years. So these are a cup of cinnamon, so a full cup of cinnamon. Get your cinnamon at Aldi, it'll be the cheapest there. Um, call, there is no shipping. Call, I don't know how to say your name, is it? I'm trying to read it, call in. There is no shipping on the scarf, it's free shipping, so two for 20, yeah, it's an awesome deal. Um, so the, what you're gonna use is a cup of cinnamon, two tablespoons of glue, of one to two tablespoons of applesauce. You wanna make it thick enough that you can roll out. You're gonna roll it out like a very thick dough. So I want you to think of a very, very thick, thick, thick dough. It's not gonna be like a real soft one. I actually just mix it together by hand, but you're gonna to have to mix it. I mean, it's gonna take some muscle, so stick some muscle into it. Then you roll them out, you um, make them. I made mine pretty flat. They don't rise or anything, so you can see these are pretty, that's about what they are. My daughter made some that were a little thicker. Let me see if I can find you one of hers. I can't see where, they'll probably put them on there. I just think they're darling, and I think they're such a good, I mean, with the greenery, can y'all see how that just adds a little pop of happiness right there? Dab with cinnamon oil. Huh, darling, that's a great idea. How long will the deal be going on? Stephanie, I believe we'll have it today and tomorrow. So if you miss it today, we can hopefully get it tomorrow. If you order more than two, it will automatically give you, oh, Pam, does it give you something free? Usually, Sense of Style is great. They end up sending extra freebies all the time, and I love that. Y'all, really, I'm just sitting here in the camera looking at this. I can't even tell you how happy this little gift makes me. I mean, really, and all I spent was the $10 on the scarf. So it was 10 bucks for the scarf. This is great. This is such a great gift for especially like older teenage girls, um, young college kids, young adults, those kids that are on your list that you feel like if you're like me, I still wanna give them something because I've given them gifts usually because they were younger forever, but I feel like they're, I don't have enough budget to give them a big gift. And so I love, like I have six nieces, every single niece gets a scarf. I mean, that's just what they get. This year I actually gave them, I actually gave them the books that I mentioned earlier this year because I gave them the scarves last year. But um, these are great for teacher gifts. Add a gift card. Your kids are gonna feel so special. And part of it too, I would say is, um, and remember, this is just recycled. So recycle your ribbon, Keep hang on to all of your ribbon, hang on to all of your supplies. Make sure you get these for like 90% off. Um, I know, Tammy, I can't even get over how cute this is myself. I, I, I am pressed myself on this one. This is probably my favorite, I think. Um, Cheryl, the link will work as soon as the video is over. But for $10, I feel like, especially if you're like my kids, are um, my youngest wants to give her teacher a gift and so typically we do a gift card along with a small gift just to make her feel kind of awesome and I feel like it's so easy to throw away five or six dollars on nothing um, oh is Jennifer is the buffalo plaid in black and white sold out I am so disappointed that was my favorite one um, yeah I just feel like these are such a great little happy gift and again make sure your teachers know they can use these or teachers or whoever you give them to I really love them as table runners my friends um, Oh, what's her name? I can't remember her name, but for the girl from Life of Bliss blog, who I love, Less Than Perfect Life of Bliss, one of my favorite bloggers ever. She's the one that every time I look at her house, she like throws them over her chaises. She throws them just throughout the house and it adds a little happy color. Um, and then she uses them as table runners. So I'll use mine as a table runner as well. Oh, Liz. I am so glad you said that. Liz just said she know, wonders if you can put a monogram on it. Yes, you can put a monogram on it. I saw those last yesterday. Um, so if you have a company that's close by that does monogramming or if you're a super savvy seamstress, you could probably make these yourself if you're super good. And I do believe you can make these blanket scarves, but I'll be honest, I don't have time to make them. For 10 bucks, um, this is just a great deal. Christina, you asked how long it takes them to arrive. I would guess about a week would be my guess on this. Um, make sure, Madeline, you said they're showing $24.95. Use the code PASSIONSCARF at checkout to get them for it, two for 20. Um, they look like Yule Logs. Oh, we can make Yule Logs. That would be a fun thing to make, too. I'll show you this other one. I'm really kind of obsessed with this one, but if you hopped on later and didn't see. So this is another one we did. I'm just, I'm really crushing on this red one, though. I think I just love red because it's Christmas. But do make sure that if you get one, um, that's red. Don't get red and green. Don't get something they can only wear at Christmas. That's just my pet peeve. I hate when people give me stuff that I can only wear at Christmas because then I have to wait a year to use it. And definitely, 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 ladies, I want to tell you, it is so important. This is another one. But this one just needs some greenery. I don't have any more greenery. 
You know what I have though? I need something. I have this that actually might turn out cute. Let's see. These are some Dollar Tree berries. Y'all, if you are worried about, if you're worried about it, um, the greenery fading, I like fresh greenery best. If you have Nandina, I am so jealous because you have the best berries in the world in the backyard. But even just that, look, that's just some Dollar Tree berries that we added on. This is gonna fall, so I'm not holding it up. How fun is that, y'all? It's amazing what a little bit of greenery does to add to just make it, I think just one though. I think not two. What do y'all think? <laughs> Can't do it and watch you guys at the same time. Sorry guys, you'll have to be patient. Here's just one little sprig. That just gives it all the little happiness. And if you have, like I said, if you have some greenery in your backyard, don't go out and buy greenery. Use what's in your yard. Bay your neighbors. Don't take tons, but especially if you have arborvita, if you have holly bushes, I like eucalyptus bushes. Um, yesterday, I also trimmed some boxwood. Boxwood would be great. So just use stuff you already have, and that'll make your life a little bit easier. I think I got through all the questions. Thank y'all so much for taking the time to watch today. I am praying an amazing day for you. I hope that you have a fantastic and, um, day. Oh, and someone says they love the joy sign. Let me just tell you about the joy sign really fast. My friend, Shree, who works on the Passionate Penny Pincher team, she's one of the people who handles your emails and she's the cutest thing ever. She actually made that. This is a Dollar Tree wreath and these are letters from Hobby Lobby in the shiplap. How cute is that? And she sent it up to me all the way from Alabama. So I feel like it's my little happy um, southern thing from home. So I do love it anyways. Someone says clear coat them with Krylon and they will last longer. So you should clear coat the greenery. Good to know, Alicia. I did not know that. That's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm praying a blessed day for you guys. And um, please let me know if you have any other tips or suggestions. Use the code Passion Scarf at checkout to get these two for 20 bucks. Hope you guys have the very best day and I will see you. I think we're going to do tomorrow where I'm actually going to show you how to do greenery on your mantle. Super cheap because I was going to go and spend a lot of money on some fresh greenery. And then I thought, I have this in my backyard. Why would I pay for this? So I'll show you how to do that tomorrow. Y'all have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.